I am finishing up drainage work in master bathroom today. It has two sinks. One is wet venting shower and the other is wet venting toilet and a freestanding tub. I also have a dry vent coming from the basement kitchen. All of these will be connected and penetrated through the roof. Whenever you start working on any rough and work, mark all the holes and finish all the drilling work or as much as possible before you start gluing pipes and fittings. This really speeds up the process rather than going back and forth to drilling and gluing. These holes have quarter inch slope per foot. Even vent pipes need grade just like drain pipes. You got to have a quarter inch slope per foot going uphill. The reason why you need slope on vent pipes is to prevent rainwater from accumulating in the vents. Gathering all the fittings at the same time saves a ton of time as well. Picture the final product in your head and start counting the fittings from bottom to top or from left to right. Whatever works for you. Make a list if you need to. Drainage work is all about planning. So plan. Know exactly where the sinks are going to be. Know the height you need to install arm PZ. So that when you come to the finished house to install fixtures, everything goes smooth. After having a closer look at the interior design drawings, I am installing line cleanouts at 13 inches and arm tees at 18 inches. I couldn't make holes for sinks in wall cavity because this wall is directly over a joist. If you ever run into this issue, you can make holes in the floor and divert the drain into wall cavity. But make sure you keep the pipes as low as possible to the ground so that you end up in the cabinet base. I could take all three vents to the attic space and connect them there without making holes in the wall studs. But this wall doesn't carry any weight so I had no issues drilling holes in the studs. Not only this saves material but also time because it will take longer to connect them standing up on a ladder. You must find appropriate ways to save money and time and productivity will follow.
That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you next time.